load up the table. Simple play scripts. Normally you don't see that, but anyways, so let's load up a list. This is super easy. Saved objects. Let's see. You can have folders. Oops. Well. Oops. I'm going to delete all that. Yeah. So uh, one thing to note when you are doing stuff, you want to do this drop down. There we go. Let's see. Heldrea. Let's do this one. Yeah, these are all pre-made. Better just drag it right there. Voila, there's my build. I have all the stuff ready to go. Um, a lot of people use like these certain dials. Not, you know, the ones that are spread out and you put them in this area, which is completely hidden. Um, I kind of prefer these. They're more like a card, stack of cards. I just go private search. I'm like, ooh, voila. And then when I want the card to come back, I just say reset, voila. So, um, oh, I haven't tried the other method. So pretty much this is, this. you know, the ship's already configured. See how it says LG, LGS there, pending. You know, Nadru, Drea. So really, I mean, let's just go ahead and be like, okay, let's put this guy down. So one thing to do that helps with uh, moving stuff and lining things up really easy. See how, see how it kind of stops because it's physics based. Um, you just basically left click, lift it up. You know, hold down the right click so you have both buttons pushed down. You go and drag it, drag it, drag it, and then this might get get a little bit getting used to. But once you kind of like hit the thing. You kind of see how it's tilting there. You're going to let go of the left click button, which is the first click, and it'll drop it. Voila. It makes it very easy when you're dealing with templates. Here's some bags of all the templates. So, um, drag that over. So, like doing a barrel roll, for example. And by the way, the keys are like, oops, let's see. So you drop it, then do the double click thing. And voila, and then you can do your barrel roll. So, you know, maybe then in the future we might automate this a little bit. But honestly, the amount of time it took to do the barrel roll and how often they are, it's just not really worth the effort. But hey, you know what? Community grows ginormous, it then becomes the effort. It's all about critical mass, you know? Anyway, so. I'm going to go ahead and just put this guy back. Okay, he's going to be ready to move. I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. It's always good to delete shit uh, when you can. So, I'm going to go ahead and place him. I'm just going to drop him right there. And I'm going to just place him. Whoops. Oh! Well, stuff happens. We could, uh... You know, reset the table if we had to, but it's really resource intensive, so we'll just flip that and just, just what happens when you have stuff on stuff, you know. Look, I'm not a pro at setting these, uh, uh, things up. In fact, you know, I was busy, you know, building the, the writing this the code and everything versus, uh, setting up all my, uh, builds to endless things. Um, one thing you always want to make sure, you want to shuffle this little guy. Hit it a bunch of times. Um, also make sure it's kind of facing you. Alright, so it's not. So I'll just go and say reset. Bring it back into the deck. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this. Something that we should probably do as a default down the road. So Shuffle. Voila. Damage deck is ready to go. So, alright. So it's like, okay, it's time to move. Alright, one other thing is the L key. L, lock. It does lock. See how I can't click these guys? Can't move them? Very helpful. Um, and it's like required <laughs> when you're dealing with asteroids and debris fields. So all you gotta do is like choose an asteroid or the TO, all, all types. TFA asteroids, see how those, these are the new asteroids. Um, you can change them just by hitting the F 
you know, the, the one, two, three keys to the different debris types. So I'm just going to do that. Well, that's small. All right, so we'll do like that. So I'm going to place that here. I'm going to place that here. And I'm going to place this one like right here. Now, once you finish your placements, you lock them. In addition to that, here's the range ruler if you need to actually like measure anything out. But I'll tell you something, a little trick. In Tabletop Simulator, we have this line tool, which really pretty much makes things a lot easier. 3.5. I think it's 3.6 technically, but we um, that you really can just kind of like figure out. So, oh, that's range two. You know what I mean? So, once you get the numbers, I don't, uh, I think it's uh, 36, 7.2, and then like 11. So this whole thing is 11 length uh, if you were precise enough. So, real quick way to see if you're, you know, too close to one distance or whatnot. Um, you know, and of course we'll show you, uh, in a short minute, the range roller thing. So pretty much, let's say, uh, opponent set up. I don't have an opponent right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and unlock these guides that are here to kind of help, you know, get you set up. And we're just going to delete them out. And we're ready to play. Also, uh, for anyone that's interested, the C key, they will turn on voice chat. So, hello! <laughs> turns it on and off on and off so there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and do a maneuver here I'm just gonna something very simple I'm just gonna be like voila a headhunter here he's gonna go ahead and do voila this guy is gonna do you know say there we go okay so I'm done with my maneuvers that's it man that's it yeah one thing you want to make sure LSG so when you right click right click here this, this is the name of the ship you want to go ahead and make sure it has LS, LGS at the end for large ship base um, once you do that you set that you can type set here in the description and as you can see here in the chat, it tells you it set the name. And so you can do formation flying. So I can literally select all these guys and, you know, if they have the name set, which they do already because it's impending status with the name already. So it's set to that name automatically. Anyways, we'll go into more details about that later. But you can look back at, I would like to move these all at once, you know, four forward, for example. Um, they'll do the large ships separately. But anyways, we're not going to do that. We're going to just go ahead and do the maneuver so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this in order here so I have what I have seven seven five so I'll do the jump master first he's moving forward four so it's gonna be an S4 voila dune done ship is moved next forward four oh well I right click on the ship I'm gonna go to S I'm gonna type S4 oh wow that's it do I need to check for a target lock okay let's check for a target lock now obviously you're gonna want to call out the ship and we'll scroll and spawn the range ruler which is basically the R key so keep in mind everything in that description thing is literally like the command the command bar there think about it that way so when you type in the commands do stuff voila look at that we have a range ruler spawning out nope I have no targets well I can't target the asteroid apparently um, range 3 range 2 range 1 arc forward and you know if this was a large ship, you would have side and rear arcs potentially. So you click on the little button here where it spawns to, to close that. Let's see what this looks like over here. See how we have the multiple arcs, auxiliary arc, rear arc, forward arc. And my god, look how big that arc range for large ship spaces, man. It really tells you something. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and see that little button there? Yeah, all you got to do is click it to remove it. So anyways, let's continue on. Let's move on to the next. We're going to flip this guy over. Oh, he's going to do one forward. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, move him. I'm just going to kind of speed up on this here. I did another maneuver. I'm just going to go ahead and reset these back into my uh, deck, per se. Voila. Now, again, if you're using the card method that lays it out. A lot of people like that. I haven't tried it yet, but you could literally copy paste, drop it, and then you can just delete the card because you have it here. This is a hidden zone, so people can't see your dial. So as long as you leave the zone, flip downward, your opponent can't see what your dial is. 
So let's go ahead and take these small ships and let's go ahead and do a, a, a turn right. You know, that would be this direction. And let's see, you know, what happens. We're going to do both of them at the same time. We're going to do a little formation flying. Oh, okay, oops. I kind of, well, look at this. I did forward straight, actually, and I ran over the asteroid. So I kind of screwed up there. Let's go ahead and hit Q for undo. Oh, there we go. Done. Let's go ahead and try that again. Let's go ahead and turn right three. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Now, if you were like, okay, did he run over the asteroid, Drea? We don't know. Let's undo this guy. And this is where, you know, templates are still needed. To an extent, you can just kind of run this over. This is the, you know, uh, yeah, it's obviously did not run over anything. And using the same method, you can kind of really tell if it went over anything. It did not, so delete that. We're good. We can just redo this command. Turn right three. We're done. So let's do another one here. We'll just do like a K turn. We'll go K turn, what was it, four maybe? There you go. That's done. See how easy that is? And I'm doing squads all at once here, guys. So, you know, of course, if I was going to do actions in this case, since there are K-turns, we're going to go ahead and just give them some uh, uh, stress tokens. And by the way, you can kind of set up your tokens that you're going to use in advance, or you can just kind of drag them out when you need them. You know, usually the, even the opponent might even help you out doing that to kind of speed things up. you got two playing, you know, the speed of one. So that always helps. So we'll go ahead and do like uh, this guy. We're going to bank him um, to the right. That would be this way. We'll do him bank three. See where it takes us. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do a bank left. So so that can be a BL, you know, or for bank left or BE. A lot of people like BE. I prefer BE actually because it's, it's left to the R button which is right so kind of makes sense and it's kind of on the hand where pretty much a lot of people do w a s d um keys there and since the movements kind of you know moves around that with uh, uh the rotations and stuff being you know q and e uh, for the cameras you know for key bindings uh, it kind of makes it easier for everybody so we'll do be3 so you can do it with all this one hand i'm going to bank uh, to the left that'll be this way now three ah look at that so that pretty much concludes um, everything there. Um, well, I guess just about concludes. So um, let's go ahead and deal with dice. And how I oh how did I roll out a bunch of dice at once? You just click, left click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. However many dice you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. And we're gonna just roll this. And how do you get a good roll? Well, you select the dice, hit the R button a couple times. There you go. You can even do R button, just keep you know spamming it. See how it kind of bounces up, and then let go. Bite. The dice do bounce around a little bit. And if you needed to like modify dice, you can actually like say uh, I got a focus. I spend on these two. I can uh, I can actually change the dice numbers um, by hitting um, you know selecting. Oops. There we go. I gotta select the dice and hitting a number. So in this case, the number three is a hit. Number two is a focus. So I'm gonna hit, make that three. So two hits for those two focuses. And then you know we'll go ahead and roll some evade dice just for the hell of it. And there you go, two evades. Oh, uh, I've I've lone wolf. So let me re re, re roll that. Probably be a blank. Ah, see. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one. Take care.